Coming up in the third and final hour of the show, we've got big tunes from Madness, Culture Club, Simple Minds, The Cure, Genesis, Peebo Bryson and Roberta Flack, UB40 and Howard Jones. Stay tuned. We'll be with you after the news. Brilliant. Right, on to um, tape two. Right. So, so we're on to... to start with? What's that, Paul? So we do one of the question things. Oh, yeah, go for it. Go, yeah, go for it. So, as, as I said at the start, I picked up on the Now albums probably from about Now 10. Um, I wasn't really aware of them in, in the very first instance with, with, it's, with, with Now 1. But a year later, November 84, the very first Hits album, and I'm holding it up, which I know works really well on radio, <laughs> um, he's holding it up he's holding it up anybody who's watching on YouTube can yes. see the, the, now, the hits album um, for, for the benefit of course anybody who's watching who's listening on radio you, you, you get the benefit of not seeing these two faces that are designed for radio <laughs> um, so the hits album came out November 84 it was a week before the now album that year which was now four which would become the only album in the series never to go to number one uh, the Hits Arm spent seven weeks on top of the charts, was put together by Warner Brothers and CBS, so a combination of two massive labels. And it kind of picked up on the artists that didn't feature on the Now series. So just to give you a few of the artists that are on here, you've got Wham and Freedom, you've got George Michael's Careless Whisper, you've got Michael Jackson's Thriller, Prince and the Revolution, Purple Rain, Kenny Loggins with Footloose, Van Halen, Jump. Uh, Ray Parker Jr. Ghostbusters, massive film in 1984. Uh, Sade, Smooth Operator, The Cars Drive. Um, I mean, that was massive with, um, with Band Aid, wasn't it? And it featured a lot on uh, Live Aid the year later. Yeah, yeah it did. Uh, and, and the classic of all time from the young ones, Neil and Holding My Shoe. <laughs> <laughs> how many hits so, albums? How many hits albums were there, though? Because obviously, we, did it go to about seven or eight? That's a guess. I've top of my head it went they, they kept changing the formats it went up to about eight or nine numerically and then they sort of stopped them and over a number of years tried to get it going again under just the hits um and calling it different like power hits or snapping up monster hits and right. things like that ultimately only ran for about 14 15 lps so didn't quite generate the same sort of level of success despite the fact that we've got such big artists and, and a winning formula um i stuck with it till about now five um which also hits five sorry which also had loads of great artists let me just grab it off, off the vinyl and yeah i'll tell you who so that had amongst them there's hits five with the oh, dice there yes with the dice on. on cassette at the time um on double cassette, of course. So this had Aha, Don Johnson from Miami Vice, uh, Nick Kamen, um, who sadly passed away the last couple of weeks. Yes. Uh, Sidney Lauper, Rod Stewart, Every Beat to My Heart. We mentioned that one uh, a few minutes ago. Paul Simon, The Eurythmics, uh, Prince again, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Meatloaf, and your favourite, Mr. Robert Palmer, Addicted to Love. So he appears on the hit series, but yeah, that's interesting. The the um the first now I forgot to tell you earlier, the first now I bought was now 13, which had Robert Palmer on She Makes My Day. So I, I was very late in the um in the series, really, weren't I? But that's an age thing. I mean, now 13 was that would have been about 89. 88, I think. Yeah. I mean, I had erasure, yeah. little respect. Um, I think uh oh, I'm trying to think of the other I think it had. I'm going to I'm gonna be 500 miles, proclaimers on it. That's a great one, yeah. Um, but and Presumably that would have been, uh, just like mine, it would have probably been a case of you were receiving them for Christmas presents and uh, a birthday possibly. present rather than being able to buy them yourself. Do you know what? I didn't buy another Now album till I bought Now 15 and then I didn't buy another one until Now 26. So I, I, I wasn't um, fixated with them, really, until obviously recent years. But yeah, yeah, yeah. 